Hey, let me introduce myself quickly again. I am Lindsay Seip, Southwest Regional Consultant for Digital Teaching and Learning. And you're like over halfway there. Google Classroom step four, adding materials and topics. So we're just gonna kind of go through what we just went through, clean it up and organize a little bit. We all know that the more organized your resources and material are, the easier it's gonna be for students to navigate. Um, and you're not going to get as many questions or phone calls because people are confused. So um, we are going to go ahead and go to Google Classroom. So you can go ahead and go to classroom.google.com if you are not already there. Bonus points if you are already there. But no one's a winner in this. We're all winning. So let me pop out of my block one math class that I have been working in. And for some reason, it keeps kicking me out. So let's get back in there. All right, so I'm actually gonna go into block two this time so you can see that the information is transferring to both places. So I'm gonna go to block two. And you can see on my stream, I have some updates. So every time I'm posting in classwork, it's going to the stream so students can see it. If you think that is distracting, what I would recommend doing is always just move whatever you want them to see to the top, okay? And don't encourage them to go through assignments via the stream. Stream is just to let them know what's going on, um, to share updates with them. They should be going into classwork to get their resources and supplemental materials, things like that, okay? So we have all of this stuff um, and it's difficult for us to kind of figure it out. So what we can do here is we can come up with different topics and organize things accordingly. So you could do this by date, you can do this by uh, resources, quizzes, worksheets, things to turn in, things like that. Um, the more organized you are here, the uh, easier it is going to be for your students to find. So what I'm probably going to do is do it something by day. Um, so I have my fractions and I'm just gonna slide it in here. Um, there we go. Here's my worksheet. Um, and there's my exit ticket. So now looking at all of this, looking at all of this, I can see that it might be a little difficult for students to navigate. So what I might want to do is do something like this. Complete this first. So again, more organized, the easier it is. Or you could just do first fractions. And you know, we don't really even need the date there anymore because we have it organized by date. So I'm gonna save this. And we're gonna make this um, second. So this is just a quick little uh, check-in that they have to do. And then when they're finished with it, we're gonna go Third fractions, okay. So now it's um, completed by date. You could also break this down a little bit further if you wanted to. So you could say three, two resources, and then you could have a three, two um, quiz, it, quiz, check in. That would be a lot to keep up with. If I was you, I would probably just do it by date or week. So if you're coming out with like a set of resources or materials for students to complete, like within a time frame, you could just do it per week and have everything listed in there. So you could do, you know, three, six through. Obviously three, six is not a good example because we're almost at the end of the week but um, you could do something like that. And then students would know that this is where they have to go every time. So I hope that makes things a little bit easier. You could also just do um, materials. 
Uh, so if you have materials, what you would do is um, put your title on. Like beating a dead horse over here, whatever that saying is, um, watch the whole video. And if you want to do the video, you actually might not do um, YouTube unless you're uploading your stuff to YouTube, which is complete your, completely your preference. What I would do if I was you is upload to Google Drive and I'll have some videos at the end of this on how to make a video and upload to Google Drive. Um, I do not have a video in my Google Drive to show you, but if I did, I would just go add Google Drive and then I would look through my Google Drive for my uh, video that's in here and I would select it and then I would um, delete it. So I'm gonna add this to both my blocks again. If you have students in your class and you need, and students need just a little bit more help, you will be able to click on all students and send it directly to specific students. Um, and then if you have a topic, you can post where you want it to be. So it might be easier for you to go through and decide as a group of teachers or um, with your administrative team how you want this broken up into topics. Um, I would suggest doing something weekly or daily might be a bit much, but like weekly um, or daily, whatever works for you. And put those topics in first so you can just quickly organize them as you're putting your materials in, okay? Um, we are going to come back. Uh, this is posting right now. We're gonna come back and we are going to talk about how to get your students into your class, okay? So um, join us for video five. I promise you, you're almost there. Um, if you need some additional help, as you're going through this process, um, you can email me or you can um, type this link in calendly.com slash lindsay hyphen site and um, you can sign up for office hours so I can zoom with you and we can go through this one on one together. Okay, so we'll see you in just a couple seconds.